Bomb successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength, 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley, we have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning lift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. as quickly as possible. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true but the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to 
to run a brute force check if this is a simulation. You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Base is under attack.
Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Base is under attack. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities.
detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence has been noticed. Ashray, we don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. I guess you were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. creature's level of aggression. I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Wind speed is returning back to typical values. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. It looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, 
This process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Some buildings don't have enough power.
Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings.
It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Weapon dropped. The wind is very slow today. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. Crafting completed. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us, hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended, are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rift Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Wind speed projection is returning back to statistically normal values. Wind turbines are back at nominal power levels. I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them.
Base is under attack. Tower destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should start downloading the blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Air humidity is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. Communications hub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here, I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift Station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. storage is full. Build more storage facilities.
Reign is over. Base operations returning back to normal. Communications of construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation.
Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak, you were selected for the Rift Jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the Extraterrestrial Science Corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting, but they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs.
construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not enough plant biomass. Steel storage is full. Build more storage. The fog is clearing up.
We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. 